guys, oh, welcome back to the channel Daughter of Increase. My name is Nate Denise. For those of you who are new to the channel, and I post new videos every Tuesday and Thursday, all about my faith, God, Christ, and expanding the kingdom of God. Again, I am back in the same outfit because you guys know that I just recorded the 2019 Bible studies for Daughter of Increase, in which I shared the books of the Bible that we'll be going through, as well as talking about the study notes and how things will be different. So you can check that video out by clicking the eye on the screen. But this video is going to be a video all about the 2019 book club. So we have six books picked out already. And I'm so excited, so excited. So I do have a printable. I'm going to leave a link down below where you can um, download it. But I have a printable for you guys because Miracle from my Facebook group had asked me to do a PDF file. And I did. I just converted the picture image to a PDF and um, printed it out for you guys. If you guys are interested, it is free to download. Um, just click the link down below to get to that. But I am going to walk through all six of the books and show you guys because I do have them here in front of me. So for the month of January... We are going to be reading The Ruth Anointing by Michelle McLean Walters, and I love Michelle McLean Walters. I've honestly only read one book from her, and that is The Esther Anointing, which we will be reading as well. But, um, yeah, this one is one of her previous ones that she came out. No, actually, she came out with this one this year, if I am not mistaken, in 2018. Let me just double check. I believe she came out with this in 2018. Yes, copyright 2018. So yeah, she came out with this this year, 2018, and it is the Ruth Anointing, and this one is all about Ruth, and um, it says, Becoming a Woman of Faith, Virtue, and Destiny. I'll read the back of it for you guys. It says, Be inspired by Ruth, inner strength, resolute mind, pioneering spirit. There is restoration after great loss. A broken heart can be mended, and lost dreams can become the greatest source of hope. But there is so much more to the story of Ruth. Ruth was not afraid to step out of her comfort zone and embrace new possibilities. She ventured past cultural limitations to discover a life of fulfillment. She was willing to risk it all and be stretched. For those who feel an affinity to this woman of God, it's time to break boundaries and conquer new territories. This is the core of the Ruth anointing, a courageous, bold, faith-filled, and resolute pioneering spirit so she really just dives into the book of ruth and breaking it down and um i love the way she breaks down the books of the bible i have already done her esther anointing like i said which went through the book of esther and it was so powerful i loved it so i'm excited to do this we have studied the book of ruth on the youtube channel already you guys can just click the eye on the screen for that and i love the book of ruth the book of ruth has so much to it outside of it being a romance obviously there's so much depth to it so much more to it so i'm excited to dive into this and kind of do like a mini study of the book of ruth once again so we have this one for the month of january and with this we will be reading two chapters a week if i'm not mistaken yes we'll be reading two chapters a week in this and um i'll be doing discussion videos on saturdays in the you in the youtube <laughs> in the facebook group so if you're not if you are not a part of the daughter of increase facebook group join below um by clicking the link and um yeah i'm quite excited to dive into this so we won't have a book club for the month of march i just i don't want to do back-to-back -back book clubs and then we have bible studies and all that that's just way too much so for the month of march we are going to be reading adamant by lisa beveray and um it's finding truth in a universe of opinions now I have read this, but I haven't fully in-depth read it, if that makes sense. You guys know how my reviews go, where I quickly read it just to do the review, and then I go back months later to reread it at a slower pace. This is one of those books, so I'm going to read the back. It says, What is truth? This has become the defining question of our time. But while everyone has an opinion, truth, it seems, is getting harder and harder to find. Perhaps that's because we are chasing... I'm sorry. Perhaps that's because we are searching for something when we should be looking for someone. Truth has a name. More ancient than time and more present than this moment, truth is not a river that changes with cultural currents, but a rock. Immovable, invincible, unshakable, and the cornerstone of all we are and ever dream to be. Theologically deep yet intimately accessible, adamant will be an anchor for your soul in a raging sea of opinions giving you a clear sense of direction in a wandering world so basically this is all about understanding that truth is a person the truth is jesus it is god and um really just making sure that you understand it i'm really excited to dive into this i've heard lisa beverly's writing is amazing i have done a few of her bible reading plans on the holy bible app and i loved it so i'm excited to dive into this with you guys a lot of these books i have not read yet um, so I'll be reading them exactly with you guys. With this one, I believe we will also be doing, yes, two chapters a week. And this will run for about one and a half months. So I'm excited for this. 
the next book for the month of May. Just trying to see. Now, this one will run for two months as well, from May to June. And it's a Christian fiction, and I'm so excited because I love this book. It is one of my favorites. Uh, it is amazing. And that is going to be Pearl in the Sand by Tessa Afshaw. This is basically a biblical fiction. And if you guys don't know what biblical fiction is, biblical fiction is basically a, no a fictional novel that is based off of a biblical story featuring biblical people. So this one talks about Rahab, Joshua, and Salome, Salome, Salome. I don't know how to say his name. I'm probably butchering it. It'll be on the screen. But it does feature Rahab, and this kind of gives you um, a fictional backstory to Rahab and how she became um, a Zana, and a Zana is a prostitute, and um, her converting over to being... Uh, a follower of Christ. I'm um, sorry, a follower of God. So I'm excited for this. I'll read the back. It says, Striking beauty comes at a price. Rahab paid it when, at the age of 15, she was sold into prostitution by the one man she loved and trusted, her father. With her keen mind and careful planning, she turned heartache into success, achieving independence while still young, and she vowed to never again trust a man, any man. God had other plans. Into the emotional turmoil of her world walked Salome. A prominent leader of Judah, held in high esteem by all of Israel. A man of faith and honor and pride, an enemy. What is a woman with a wrecked past to do when she wants to be loved yet no longer believes it's possible? The walls of Jericho are only the beginning. The real battle for Rahab will be one of the heart. So, yes, I'm excited for this. I love this. I did start reading it up until chapter like two, I think. Oh, yeah, chapter two. But then I stopped myself because I want to reread it with you guys. You guys already know I read this. I read the ebook version and I bought a physical copy because I loved it so much. This is so good. If you are struggling with the idea of being truly loved and you have a past, whether it be sexual sin or abuse or anything like that, um, this one will it will make you cry. It'll bring tears to your eyes. We are reading three chapters a week. Yeah, with this book, we'll be doing three chapters a week, um, which I hope isn't too bad for anybody. But again, with this, I'll be doing discussion videos on Saturdays, just discussing the book and what I've gotten out of it. So, yes, that is the book for May and April, May and June, sorry. Then, going to July, I'm sorry, you guys, I'm looking at everything because I want to make sure. So going into July, we will be reading The Esther Anointing by Michelle McLean Walters. And the same idea with the Ruth Anointing, this one follows Esther. It says, Becoming a woman of prayer, courage, and influence. It says, Be inspired by Esther. Influencer, barrier breaker, deliverer. Esther was willing to risk her life for the welfare of her people and the furthering of God's plan. A powerful example of how God can use anyone. She answered God's call and was purified, prepared, awakened, and then released to write the decree of death sent against her people. The decree she wrote empowered them to defend themselves, their families, and all they possess. Just as in biblical times, God is positioning women today and giving them divine opportunities to influence the culture for his kingdom. The Esther anointing gives you the keys to... To Esther's success, including discovering your place of influences, finding God's favor for your assignment, walking boldly in your calling, ruling and reigning with the scepter of prayer and fasting, and so much more. The Esther story could be your story. It doesn't matter where you came from or what skills and talents you have. If you let him, God can use your life for his glory. I've read this previously. Um, I loved it. It is amazing. I love it. I just, I love everything in this book, so I'm excited to reread this and really dive into it with you ladies. This we will be doing two chapters a week, and this will go for, I think, two months, yeah, from July to August. Um, and then in September, all the way until November, if I'm not mistaken, yes. So September to November, we'll be diving back into another biblical fiction. This is another book that I raved about. Um, this was actually a book that was recommended to me a while ago when I said I wanted to get into more Christian biblical fiction, and I loved it. Um, the same idea kind of as Pearl in the Sand with the whole prostitution being loved and whatnot. Um, this one is called Redeeming Love by Francine Rivers. We will be doing three chapters a week on this book. And um, like I said, it'll be two and a half months of reading. But yes, this is the story of the prophet Hosea and Gomer, which was his wife, which was a prostitute, basically. Um, from what I understand, the Lord, basically, the Lord, God told the prophet Hosea to marry the prostitute Gomer and show her love. And she kept running away from love. So this is kind of um, a spin on that. It takes place in 1850. So it says, a story of love that won't let go no matter what. 
California's Gold Country, 1850, a time when men sold their souls for a bag of gold and women sold their bodies for a place to sleep. Angel expects nothing from men but betrayal. Sold into prostitution as a child, she survives by keeping her hatred alive. And what she hates the most are the men who use her, leaving her empty and dead inside. Then she meets Michael Hosea, a man who seeks his father's heart in everything. Michael obeys God's call to marry Angel and to love her unconditionally. Slowly, day by day, he defies Angel's every bitter expectation until, despite her resistance, her frozen heart begins to thaw. And with her unexpected softening, sorry, but with her unexpected softening comes overwhelming feelings of unworthiness and fear. And so Angel runs back to the darkness, away from her husband's pursuing love, terrified of the truth she can no longer deny her final healing must come from the one who loves her even more than michael does the one who will never let her go a powerful retelling of the story of gomer and hosea redeeming love is a life-changing story of god's unconditional redemptive and all-consuming love um so yeah this is going to be an awesome read i love this i cried i boohooed i teared up this is amazing. I read it on ebook and then I purchased the physical copy. This is a hefty book. This is why it's taking two and a half months. Um, this book is big. But I am so excited to really just go back and dive into this book with you ladies. This is going to be a very emotional read, just like Pearl in the Sand, but this one might be more emotional for us to read. But I'm excited to see what you all think of it. And if you have read it, join us anyway and reread it again because I'm rereading it. And in December, we're going to be reading a book, and I think we're doing two chapters a week. Yeah, two chapters a week with this book, and that's going to be Sheila Walsh's It's Okay Not to Be Okay, Moving Forward One Day at a Time. And um, I just thought this would be a great read because, you know, it's the end of the year, preparing us for 2020. And um, just because I know the years can be very stressful, and we as women, um, we as females in general, are taught that um, it's not okay, you know to not be okay we have to always say we're good we have to always be um happy and you know joyful but that's not always the case and this cover is so real i'm not sure if you guys can notice but it looks like she was crying before they shot this so i'm excited to really dive into it i'll read it it says, when Sheila Walsh discovered I'm not good enough and I'm not that good, everything started to change. We've all experienced that moment when we wish we could start all over. Failed marriages, lost friends, addictions, lost jobs. This is not the life we imagined. Yesterday can leave us struck, sad. I'm sorry. Yesterday can leave us stuck, sad, shamed, scared, and searching. Sheila, Wal Sheila wants you to face the pain head on and then start again from right where you are and it's okay not to be okay she helps you overcome the same old rut of struggles and pain by changing the way you think about god yourself in your everyday life she shares practical doable daily strategies that will help you move forward one step at a time knowing god will never let you down it's never too late to start again and there is healing and freedom in just taking the first step and um it's a very short read and i thought it'd be a great one to end off with the year so those are all six books. I am excited to be getting into these books with you ladies. I'm just, I'm so ready to um, do this book club with you guys. And just get you guys' opinions and thoughts on these books. Like I said, I have not read a lot of these books and some of them I have read. But even if I have read them, I'm rereading them again because they're awesome. So again, if you want the um, PDF file for the book club just for your personal use the link will be down below and um definitely join the daughter of increase facebook group because like i said on saturdays i'll be doing videos i want to make them live videos um but some of them might end up being pre-recorded depending but um yeah i'm excited to really uh, just communicate with you all and discuss this but these books with you all so those are the book picks for 2019 and I hope you guys join me on one or two of these, if you will. I do have ebooks available um, for all of them except the Ruth Anointing. The Ruth Anointing for January you will have to purchase if you are interested in joining. But um, the rest of the other books, I do have ebooks available if you're joining but don't have the funds to get the book or you just want an ebook copy. I do have. Um, copies that are work that will work for android for iphones as well as for kindle users so if you're interested comment down below and i will send that to you directly and um, i'll send you a link to where you can download them and um that's pretty much it for this video so i'll see you guys in the next one bye